Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Fal... Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point. Unless they try something stupid. Okay, well this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh... He's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right. Go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. And take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clemente and Vinci planning anything against our organization? Hmm. Okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business, and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing him himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody'll know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shut Leo, Leo, up put here. it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with Okay, you? so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. 
Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking for Christ's sake, get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know what we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy, I'm actually the one who got him the job. Huh? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. What, the both of us? I ain't no queer. I ain't gonna lock myself in a cabin with another Just get guy. in there, Leo. We don't have time. <laughs> hey, don't stand so close. You move over. No, you move over. Shh. Shut up. Hey, that better be your gun. Shut up! Oh, uh. What the hell? Hey, Henry. Vito? This your friend? No, he just wants to hang up his jacket. All right, come on, come on, get out of there. It's about damn time you come out of the closet. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Leo, you want a drink? What the hell happened? Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, why? <laughs> He drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey, when you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home. Stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? Yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you. Got it? Oh, 
search the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cut! Born! <laughs> My house! Ah! I'm coming. What were you barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Hey, it's Joe. Oh, great. Yeah, I know, I a know. Fucking I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a worse. good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner.